This will look really well on It'll look really well. It'll look really well. <laughs> Five o'clock news. I'm Jared Thornton and I am your weatherman. I'm Nick Fryer and I'm sports. I don't know what I am. <laughs> you field reporter. <laughs> I was gonna say sports. Okay. Today we are doing a review of Flathead Lakes Pop. They are uh, gourmet sodas, handcrafted. Uh, we got them at Big Lots for fifty cents a bottle or seventy-five cents a bottle. So uh, we actually, I just wanted to try them to see if they're any good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna each. Pour a little bit into these cups here. These are our special edition Star Wars cups for Battlefront. So we're going to pour a little bit of each flavor, and we're just going to basically grade them on. Tell you what our thoughts are. All right, what one should we start with? All right, we have Huckleberry. I don't know what Huckleberry is. So right, we got a nice little steam coming off of here. Oh, it's got like this purpley pink color. It would be bounces off your elbows and stuff, you know, forearms. I want more. <laughs> All right, so each take your cup. Thank you for distributing the cups. Yeah, I'm distri distributive property here. And on three, two, make sure you swish it in your mouth. You have to really get the flavor on your palate. Do we have a palate cleanser? No. Lick your fingers or something. <laughs> on three, two, one. I feel like that should be a hard candy flavor. I feel like they ground it up hard candy and then like put it in uh, liquid and just waited for it to dissolve and then carbonated it. But anyway, it don't taste whatever like it says it is because I really don't know what that's supposed to taste I don't like. Know. Yeah, I don't know what that's supposed to taste like so I can't really say but... This man, we're packing on the pounds right before Thanksgiving. This is how sober people get drunk when you drink before you drink it. Oh man, don't go so deep. We got uh, Flathead Lake Gourmet Soda. Strawberry Orange. I, I'm a cheater. I think I've had this one before. You hear that? World never no This has a nice aroma. It does. Very pleasant. You know what it reminds me of? The smell. Is, do you remember back in the day when uh, I used to go to Nate's house and I had the Fiber One hard candies that would make my farts smell absolutely horrid? No. Oh my god. Fiber one is candy? <laughs> yeah. It's so basically it does uh, smell like candy. Like a big nice orange soda. So far this is my favorite. We're only two in, so <laughs> those candies are really good though. More you They're know. It's supposed to be like the substitute for your fiber, so it had like six grams of fiber in this little hard candy. Uh -huh. I eat those like every day. <laughs> like four of them. <laughs> there was one time there was one time when we were playing hide and seek. And Nate found me, I was hiding in the dryer, and I farted, and it smelled so bad. And that's how he found me. 75 cents for that. It's pretty good. It's not what cherry. So, one out of, one through ten, what would you rate those two? Out of ten, six, solid six. We're out of five. Four. I didn't really care for I don't know what Huckleberry means, but I don't know. I would, like, know. rate this one definitely, like, a seven and a half. Oh, 8.5. I like integers, so I go at like seven. Oh, dude, I can already smell it. Oh, this smells different. Oh, uh, this was cough syrup. This smells like the <laughs> cheap smells candy. Like cough this syrup. is the real cough syrup. Mm. Yeah, cough vanilla. syrup mixed with vanilla. Vanilla. That's what it tastes like. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm actually surprised. Where's the sour though? There's no sour. It's yeah, but it's a sour cherry. It says sour cherry. There's no cherry. Well, there's cherry, no sour, but there's sweet vanilla. It's like how they say it's misadvertising. Yeah, I'm not gonna one. give it like a ten. This is a straight. Ten. What did you say? I'm not solid four, five. So like maybe this is meant to be with something else. Water like turkey. with vanilla ice. Cream like or a certain cheese, you know, is supposed to go with something. Right. If you don't yeah. eat it with that thing. It's like whoa. Get out of here. It's true. Okay, so three, four, five. What this we, is great. The most basic grape flavor here. Raspberry. Today. I went to Starbucks oh, oh, today. Oh, it's black raspberry. I thought it grape? was grape. Oh! There is a grape flavor, but this is not it. I read grape raspberry, it actually says black. This one is filled to the brim. Holy. It is like, they give you your value for your dollar with this flavor. Not even a dollar. I see air between that bottle cap and. You don't like it? 
not nice. I was pleasantly surprised. I was actually... It's got a good aftertaste, I give it that. Yeah. yeah. It tastes better after. It's, uh, I think if they went a little less on the fizz, you'd actually be able to get more taste. Um, a four. You aren't getting paid for this! I, I give it a solid six and a half. I give it a two. I give it a four. Well, so I think page. overall the best reviewed one was the uh, strawberry orange. If I want to, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, click the button down there and like the video if you liked it. Comment if your feelings are more complicated than that. And yeah. Also, never drink huckleberry. What? What, the, what does that mean? That was for my sister. You want to see my room? Mm-hmm. You just saw it.